Welcome back to Cardpunk.Games, best source for sealed product. That out of the way, I uh, decided to open a UPC for 151 today. What inspired this was I was watching someone's videos earlier. I think his name was like Deep Pockets or something. And uh, what he was doing was collecting one of every Pokemon in a binder. So, uh, all 1,024, 25 of them? 25. 1,025 right now. So, that was kind of interesting. Um, thought it would be kind of fun to do the same. Uh, I want to put in a little catch, though. Uh, he bought slash traded for most of his singles. I'm going to open them all. So, that should be fun. Uh, I went through a bunch of bulk, uh, found... A lot more than I thought I would, actually. But, uh, figure fuck it. Uh, if we're gonna, we're gonna start that, we might as well start with the original 151. And this is significantly cheaper than opening base set packs. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep, I only have a couple base set packs, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep those sealed. Uh, and just go with 151. Frankly, I wanna open 151 anyway, so let's do it up. So that's why we're opening this. We'll uh, see how far we can advance in our collection goal. All right, perfect. Very nice. I don't think I've ever opened this UPC on the channel. I know I opened a couple of the Charizard UPCs. All right, so up here, uh, conveniently placed right into my camera, turns out, is the Mew promos. And, well, and Mew too, but it's neither here nor there. Uh, so you just push these babies up. You got the nice Mew illustration there. We got the... Oh, this one doesn't want to get pushed up. Okay, we'll deal with that in a little bit. We've got the Mew too, which looks really good. And we have the gold Mew. And I'm not sure how we're going to get out, so I think we might, oh, this might, this might do it. If we break this a uh, little bit here, yeah, that's doing it. Now these are prone to chipping and everything, so you want to be a little careful with them. But here we go, that's our solid Mew. Very cool. Uh, I'm not going to look at the condition. I don't care. All right. Uh, we got shit we don't care about. And we got pets. We also have the playmat here. Uh, playmat's kind of cool. We're not going to take it out right now. Uh, nope. I don't have a picture that looks the same. So, well, we're here for the packs. That's what we're here for. So, let's get the rest of this stuff out of the way. And... We have, I think, 16 packs. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 16 for this. Uh, the Charizard UPC was interesting. The first one had mostly 17 packs. I say mostly, but I think it was all 17 packs. Uh, and then the second print run, for some reason, only had 16. So that was interesting. I think all the ones I have left are still the first print run. This so, so if we ever open a third one of those on the channel, We'll uh, get that extra pack. All right. So, uh, as far as Weiss goes, uh, since that's why most of you are uh, on this channel is for Weiss, no, I don't have anything available for next month uh, that's new and coming out. Uh, for June, I have Bochi. I think, like, three or four booster boxes left and then some trial decks. Uh, the end of this month ends the pre-order dates for the both the new Hololive English sets. And the end of next month ends Oshinoko and both of the JoJo sets in English. Uh, <laughs> that's exciting. So, um, you know, we're going to be opening one of the Hololive sets. We're going to open the Summer Edition uh, for play sets. And then uh, hopefully, well, actually, we already have playset pre-orders for uh, Oshinoko, so we're definitely opening some Oshinoko again. 
Uh, the Japanese release was really fun to open. And uh, JoJo is JoJo. I like JoJo, so that works out. But uh, no planned openings for next month for Weiss. I'm not saying there won't be any. I'm just saying none are planned. All right. So let's get through these packs of 151. Persian Leftover and Dodrio. All right. Now, I know we've opened a lot of Paldean Fates. Uh, those Polarates are glorious. This set, not so much. So, uh, even just a few hits is good. Honestly. So, we're, we're hoping for those. Ooh, that Vile Plume actually looks very nice. Love me some Aerodactyl. It's definitely a nice art for Aerodactyl, too. And Machamp. I want to get the Masato Machamp pretty soon. That is, uh... Heck of an art. That and he did the golem, and the golem is just... It's so weird and cartoonish. I really like it. Alright. Nice dragon air. And Chansey. Looking good, actually. I like that art for Chansey. It's pretty cool. But yeah, definitely uh, out of 151, don't expect uh, too many hits. Uh, now, they haven't announced an English reprint. Oh, we do have something here. They haven't announced an English reprint yet. Uh, the Japanese reprint is coming next month, near the end of the month. Uh, because of that, boxes have gone down basically 50% in price. Uh, they're starting to move back up because people are starting to realize uh, they're still not going to be enough. Uh, <laughs> everyone wants this set, and they are not reprinting enough to meet that demand. At least in my and a lot of other opinions. So the prices have been going back up, which is nice. We got an Arbuck EX. Oh, is 151 the set with the Illustration Rare Arbuck? Because that one's great. I love that card. I don't remember if it was the set or not, though. Oops. I don't think I've ever missed a card in a pack like that before. Weeping Bell almost got left behind. All right. Now, I'm hoping this this helps me get most of the way through uh, the original 151. I'm sure it will, honestly, this many packs. we got to get pretty close to getting on the 151. And then we just have to worry about uh, every other generation. You know, the harder ones to get. They uh, love reprinting these Pokemon because they're so nostalgic and everyone loves them. But they don't reprint a lot of other generations quite as often. So those are going to be more of a challenge. Uh, it's definitely a very long-term project. I don't expect to finish it by the end of the year, to be honest. But it would be cool if we do. Alright. Let's see our second hit pretty soon. That's a cool slow bro. I like that. Man, wow. The foiling on that actually looks really cool with the background. It almost, uh, at least in the light condition I have, it almost looks like more of a, I want to say glacial background, than uh, I think it's supposed to be rocks. So that's interesting. Huh. Alright. You always got to give it up to uh, the artists they uh, feature on Pokemon cards. They tend to be fan freaking tastic at what they do. Farfetch, Poliwag, Vaporeon, and we got a Hollow Energy. Nice. There's a cool card if anyone wants it. All right, we're gonna count that one as a hit because uh, otherwise we're gonna come up uh, with not too many hits. I don't think I've seen another Foil Energy that we might have passed, but. I'm not positive about it, so... Could be. Goldeen, Diglett, Alakazam EX. Alright, we already have one of those in the binder. Uh, I think the one we have is the promo art from the uh, 151 Alakazam box. We got a bunch of those and a bunch of the Zapdos ones when they first came out. So we do have Alakazam in there already. 
I think the Arbuck will be new, and I mean Nido Queen too. A lot of these cards will be new in the binder. But uh oh <laughs> Well, B drilled. How you doing, brother? How are you doing? Alright. Let's pop these open. Hoping to get a special illustration rare. I'm not super picky on what one. Um value aside, I would like the Nido King, I think. I really, really like the Needle King. Uh, I can also go buy one for six or seven dollars, so let's hope we get the Charizard or the Mew instead. Well, actually, let's hope we get any special illustrations. <laughs> we have five packs left. Uh, I said these these hits are not uh not gonna flow. You know, this isn't Crown Zenith. This isn't you know Paldean Fates. This is uh, one fifty one hit rates. Well, it's what you get. But God, they feel good to open. Ooh. That's a cool-ass looking ditto. I'm actually going to put that aside. It's so cool. Fair enough. All right. Four packs left. Let's see if we can hit something fun. Ooh. Oh. I think we already saw the Charmeleon, but this one's kind of catching my eye. I don't think the other one uh, I noticed as much. Raichu. Oh, a foil energy, too. All right, there we go. Got a little something going on there. All right, last three. What can we do? Hopefully something good. Even just an illustration rare I'd feel pretty happy with. Got a muck instead. We got the cool ass Gengar. We would uh, like a Master Ball version of that Gengar. That's for damn sure. God, Japanese set did so well with the Master Ball versions. I mean, Master Ball Pikachu. Uh, I saw one the other day go for like 280 or something. Man, some of the Master Balls are insanely priced, but I like the look of them. That was a pretty cool idea of them to do that. And a Kangaskhan EX. Alright. Was that foil? No, that wasn't foil. Alright, very last pack of this UPC. So far, not too much. No illustration rares or anything. So, nothing to write home about, but... Definitely good for my binder to get all the uh, Pokemon in it. So will knock off a large number of them. First I thought that was an illustration rare and I was excited. Our last card is a Dragonite. Okay. Uh, not too much for the old hits, but that's what you get with uh, Pokemon 151. I am hoping we do a reprint over in English as well. It would be nice to be able to get these packs a little bit cheaper. Right now, I think they're like six, six and a half, somewhere around there pack. So they're still a little expensive now. Though I went to a retro video game show uh, last weekend or the weekend before, maybe. I don't know. I lose track of time uh, recently and someone wanted like $12 a pack. I was like, I'm I'm sorry, I want them, but I don't want them that much. <laughs> so a reprint would be great, just so we could get a lot more at uh, MSRP, which, to be fair, is around $5 a pack still. It's a special product, so there's no booster boxes. You basically have booster bundles, and you have the uh, four-pack collection packs that I think were the best value per pack. But I'd love to open a lot more of this, but we'll we'll see what uh, Wizards of... No, nope, not Wizards of the Coast. We haven't had that in a while. What the Pokemon Company wants to do with that. Hopefully we do get the 151. If not, I'm going to regret not buying uh, some of the Japanese boxes recently when they were like 95 to 105. They're definitely uh, starting to turn back up a little bit, so those are... Hopefully down around that price for good, but we'll see what happens after the restock next month. Uh, as long as the stores get enough, then the boxes will probably be cheap for a little while at least. That'll be nice so we can uh, stock up on those. But this is what we got today. Uh, three EXs, two foil energies, and you really shouldn't count the ditto, but I really like the ditto, so I'll count it.
As always, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And uh, Cardpunk.Games, best source for sealed product. Peace.